गुड मॉर्निंग माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्लास 10th फिजिक्स टॉपिक इज इलेक्ट्रिसिटी दिस इज थर्ड चैप्टर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वी ऑल आर फैमिलियर अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिकॉज इन आवर होम वी आर यूजिंग मेनी अप्लायंसेस लाइक फैन बल्ब और लाइट टीवी कंप्यूटर मोबाइल एक्सेट्रा दिस अप्लायंसेस आर वर्किंग व्हेन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज पास थ्रू इट सो दिस इलेक्ट्रिसिटी विदाउट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी द अप्लायंसेस व्हिच वी आर यूजिंग दैट नेवर वर्क इटसेल्फ देयरफॉर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डे टू डे लाइफ्स इन आवर लाइफ्स यस और नो सो टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट दिस चैप्टर दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिसिटी See here, suppose it is one circuit. It is one board. This is suppose battery. This is key. This is connected with board. Suppose this is positive and this is negative. So in this case, when this is board, this is Or so when it is connected, that means this is key, this is battery, and this is board. When it is connected, then the board start to glow. That means in this case, the electricity passes through this conductor, so so the board is glowing. So this is known as what is circuit. This is known as what is circuit. That means. when electricity passes through this circuit and in this circuit the appliances are connected then the appliances are start to work so this charges or this electricity is comes this phenomena is comes from the tau that is what is that is friction friction so what is friction friction means when two bodies suppose this is one body and another body is this one when two bodies start to rub each other start to rub each other that means in this case one opposing force will come up one opposing opposing force which come up this opposing force is known as what is friction this is known as what is friction Here this one. Suppose we will take one example here. Suppose this is one glass one. This is one glass one. This is glass one. And when we will rubbing this glass one with a silk. Suppose this is one silk cloth. When we will rubbing. This is into a silk cloth. With silk cloth, then what will happen? Generally, all the atoms, all the atoms, it is made up of all the particles made up atom, and inside the atom there are electron, proton, and neutron. Three particles are present. So in this case, when we will rub this glass roll. With this silk, uh, silk cloth, then what will happen? The electrons, the electrons, this glass cloth will lose electrons, and this electron will get by this silk. When electron lose, electron lose by glass cloth, it is become positive ion. It is become positive charge or positive ion. And by gain of electron, by gain of electron, this silk. Cloth, it is we can negative charge or negative ion, negative charge or negative ion. Clear this one? That means the net charge is net positive in the in the case of glass or a net charge of steel particle that is negative. Why? Because due to lose of electron, it is become positive. Due to gain of electron, it is become negative. So this phenomena you have learned during class. Eighth class on class eight. So 
this electricity that means this charges the phenomena of charge it comes from this concept that concept is which one frequent friction and this concept is given by the scientist one who gave this phenomena of charges the scientist name is coulomb coulomb therefore the unit of charges unit of charges it is used to honor of this scientist that is coulomb and it is denoted by c it is denoted by c c here another thing there are two type of charges charges are charges are two types one is what is positive charges and another is negative charges positive charges mean the net charge what is net charge net charge is positive that means in this case the number of proton is maximum maximum and the net charge of negative that means the number of electrons number of electron here maximum when number of electron become maximum it is become negative charge and when number of proton become maximum it is become negative charge so there are two types of charge one is positive charge another is negative charge then the unit of charge unit of charge is denoted by what is coulomb that is c and for charge for charge we are denoting a letter that letter is q either it is capital q or we are using small q and unit of charge is unit of charge is c coulomb like this we are using for measuring weight we are using kilogram gram like this the unit of charge for measuring of charge we are using coulomb and that that is denoted by the letter c and when we cap this charge suppose this is one negative charge so when we will cap this charge this charge particle or this charge create a small bounded by itself get a small place or it affect it affect a small area bounded by it where its charge is affected where its charge is affected that means in this case this small area which is bounded which is affected by this charge this is known as this area is known as which is electric field what is electric field it is known as electric field but because up to this area the electric charge will affect it therefore this area this small area which is bounded by this charge this area is known as electric field so there is a unit there is a formula for this electric field the formula is what is formula formula is q is equal to n e q is equal to n e well q is what is q is charge electric charge and n n is what is number of electrons what is number of electrons electrons and this q is number of charges 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 number of charges electrons charges electrons number of charges electrons number of charges electrons the number of charges so that means in this case suppose question is coming one question is coming what is define or calculate calculate the number of electrons electrons present present in one coulomb of charge 
and Cn. The number of charge, that means in this case, the charge of electron, charge of electron, this charge of electron is always, it is a constant quantity. That constant quantity is how much? 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 Coulomb. It is always constant for a charge electron. 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 Coulomb. You have to remember this one. So in this case, we have to find which one. Calculate the number of electrons present in 1 Coulomb of charge. That means in this case, we have the formula that is Q is equal to Ne. Already charge is given how much? 1 Coulomb. 1 Coulomb is equal to N, we don't know, into E. E means how much? Charge of electron is. Charge of electron. Charge of electron is how much? 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 Coulomb. 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 Coulomb. Here also Coulomb. Coulomb, Coulomb cancel. Then N is equal to how much? N is equal to 1 by 1 upon 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. So when we will calculate, after calculate, you will get the answer that is 6.25 into 10 to the power 80. Therefore, number of electron present, therefore, number of number of electrons electrons present present in one coulomb of charge is how much 6.25 into 10 to the power 80 so this is one coulomb of charge it is contained that means in this case we can define one coulomb of charge, one coulomb charge, how? It is the number of electron present in one coulomb of charge. That is known as one coulomb. Suppose one question is given, calculate the number of electron present in two coulomb of charge. That means in this case, we know that two into one coulomb of charge is how much? Context, how much electrons? This much electrons. Electrons. So, this is 6.25 into 10 to the power 18 electrons. So like this, you have to calculate the number of charges. Thank you. Next class, we will continue tomorrow.